All right, newbies, here is round two for you. I thought I would address how to um, put the border around um, like a piece of text or something. Someone asked about it earlier today, so I thought I'd show you guys because this is something that you may want to do more regularly. So I'm just going to choose my rectangle here, hold my shift key and draw it out. And then I'm going to go to my offset window and I'm going to, I need my arrow, click on my box and offset it and select both of them right click make it a compound path and I'm gonna fill that in so there's your frame then let's say you want to put your um, monogram in on the inside of that there's a, a free um, monogram font called monogram KKSC and you can get it to font dafont.com and I'm just gonna click here and show you how to use it it's really easy you're going to do a lowercase l for your first, or whatever your first initial is, and then you're going to hold your shift key for your last name, and then lowercase for your middle initial, and then that automatically puts them in the right order for you. Then from here, I like to right click and ungroup them, and click on the letter itself and use my arrow key to draw it over so that I have overlapping and then I'm gonna select everything and weld it together and that's gonna omit all of these little teeny tiny cuts see that those are gonna go away beautiful then I'm just gonna um, make this a little bit bigger and I'm gonna select both of them and go to our trusty align tool I told you you use it all the time center it and then put it in the middle and let's just paint it to be pretty why not there you go so that's how to put a border around something. So I'll move this guy to the side. Let's show you the knife tool. This is super handy, especially if you want to make stencils or if you want to um, like remove something specifically from a design. So let me just show you with the word welcome um, because it has lots of hoops and curls and stuff. And I'm just going to think of one off the top of my head. It's kind of swirly. Okay. Now, from here, I want to get rid of these little overlaps. Just trying to make this bigger so you guys can see. So I'm going to right click and ungroup it, and weld it together. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because with the knife tool, you're going to be able to slice out this E and this L and this O and this E so that when you go to remove the lettering but leave your vinyl, you're going to be able to use it as a stencil or cardstock or freezer paper or whatever you're choosing to do. So here we go. Slice it here and I'm going to slice it twice to give me a little bit of a thicker cut. There we go. And slice twice. Now I'll address how to get that out in a second. It's really easy. I'm making more work for myself because I'm not going slowly. I'm trying to get as much in this video as I possibly can, you guys. Okay, now we got to go back and grab those itty bitty pieces. So I'm just going to zoom in, click on it, and hit delete. All right, and that's all there is to it. Now, when you go to cut this out, the O will stay with your stencil so that you don't have to worry about chasing around these little tiny pieces. So that's the knife tool, and I'll just paint this so you can see. You will see um, those little tiny lines, but when you go to stencil something, it will be so minimally visible, and honestly, um, a lot of times you're your paint you if it really bothers you, you can you can go back through and kind of touch it up a little bit with a really small paintbrush but that's that okay so let's show another thing um that you can do with the knife tool um i'm just gonna kind of browse through my um library here real quick and see if i can kind of find something that would be a good representation of this Okay, let's do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose two things just in case this doesn't go. Um, if this doesn't cut out the way that I think it's going to cut out. Okay, and it did. So that's not a good example. I was gonna show you how to remove those um, antlers. 
Okay, this is a better example anyway. So, I know it's not Easter, but here we go. Here is um, a good example to show you guys. Let's say you just want to use the word Easter. You don't want all of this decoration stuff around. You're going to grab your knife tool, and you're just going to slide it across and let it think for a second. And do it down here as well. And I just went up into the R, so I already know right away I need to undo that and try it again. There we go. Grab my arrow, and I'm going to move this away. Now, I'm going to zoom in. Because you see all of these imperfections, if I would have gone up a little bit higher with my knife, I wouldn't have had so much of this to mess about with. But I didn't do that. So I'm going to double click on my line and I'm going to either take the time and go back through and fix all of this or I'm going to redo it, which I'm going to redo because nobody has time for that. All right, let's make it even one step easier. Let's right click on this. And let's ungroup, and then let's right click again, and let's release the compound path, and then right click again and ungroup. I know that seems like a lot of steps, but because it's a silhouette design studio um, piece, like I purchased this, it, it has a lot of layers to it. So it's just easier just to keep clicking. <laughs> so now I'm going to try this again with my knife tool. And I'm going to draw up a little bit higher so to be sure not to interfere with any of my lettering. And I'm going to do it again down here. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here with my arrow and I'm going to select all of this. Make sure you get all these little pieces. Otherwise you're going to be going back fishing. So there we go. Now see how much easier this is going to be to clean up. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to zoom in real close, and I'm going to delete that point. Slide down here, and delete that point, and one more. And then I'm going to go to the bottom, double click, delete, 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 delete. I like to make sure I'm seeing what I'm deleting before I just keep clicking. And that looks good to me. So I'm just going to zoom back out here. Select the word and make it a compound path. And now I've removed it from all of that other stuff. Now, um, a lot of you have been asking what is up with this compound path and why do I always do it? Here's why. Let's say I'm going to release the compound path of this. And I go to cut this out. This is what it's going to look like. Okay, it's still, let me choose a different color. It's still going to make all of your cuts for you but it's not going to it's not going to give you the the effect that you're looking for so you're going to need to make it a compound path and here's why now it selects just the lettering to cut you're still going to have all of the cut lines in each of your letter but making it a compound path you're not going to lose anything along the way so hope that kind of explains it for you in a weird way so there you go okay what else should I show you? What else do you newbies do all the time that you wonder, how the heck does that work? Oh, okay. I know exactly what to do. All right, so um, the monogram arrows that you guys are seeing um, in the Silhouette Store, how to use that. So same exact way as the monogram KKC. You're just going to do your lowercase letter, then your uppercase letter, then your lowercase letter. And, of course, I'm on the wrong font, but there you go. I'll do it again so you can see it. Font and monogram full arrow, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. And I'm going to show you another cool trick too because why not? Let's move some of this mess out of the way. Let's say you just want to use the arrows and you want to put something else inside of it. Um, you're going to right click and you're going to ungroup. And you're going to delete, delete. Now, you want to get rid of the S, you're going to double click, and you're going to pull up your editing points, and you're just going to keep clicking delete until it goes away. Okay, now I'm just going to have my plain circle here. 
So now if I wanted to, I could put whatever text in here that I want. Like, let's do, oh geez, let me get off of monogram so you can actually see what I'm typing. Good grief, why does it keep doing that? It's going back to my last used font, that's why it's doing that, so. Go your own way. All right, and I just wanna center it and then make it bigger. And there you go. So, and if you decide you don't want these little circles, you can just delete those too. Now, I will show you, um, sometimes people will talk about using the eraser tool. You can try that too. I will tell you sometimes it will make a big, huge mess like that just did. And the reason why is it's because it's still part of the original design. Um, but sometimes you can go right back through and, and clear it up. But like in this case, if I were to draw my eraser tool through this one, if I were a betting woman, oh, it didn't do it. Sometimes it'll leave like this big, giant red line, and it's because it's not ungrouped, um, and therefore you can't necessarily use the eraser tool. So sometimes you can, and um, other times it's just a setting thing. So that is that. So there you go. So um, if I wanted to make sure that this was centered, then I would just do the typical. And that's really good advice. I should probably tell you to group the circle first. Jeez, old Pete's. Oh, goodness, it's too late for me. Okay, so I'm just going to select everything, and I'm going to hold my shift key down, and I'm going to click my text while well, that leaves the whole circle, and I'm going to make it a compound path. Now I can center it and align it in the middle. And if you notice, I'm a goober, and I did not see those little dots at the bottom. So I'm going to go back, undo, undo. Shift key on my text. While these are still selected with the big circle, I'm going to do it one more time. Make it a compound path. Sorry. Select both things. Align it in the center and align it in the middle. And you're probably thinking, well, why the heck isn't it working? It isn't working because this is a monogram circle and it's not registering um, the fact that the lettering is gone. So I should have thought of that before I showed you guys how to do it instead of confusing the heck out of you for no reason so I'm sorry um, so here now you're just gonna have to eyeball this one and if you want you can go to that reveal option with your mat again and that may help you you can kinda say okay I'm one two three squares over here and then I'm one two three squares over here I could actually kind of shift a little bit to the side so um, use those squares to your advantage for sure so and then once you have everything just go ahead and make it a compound path. So that's a kind of a fun twist on how to use, oh, that's why it was shifting to the side funny. I'm sorry, I had this selected from this other monogram and it was recognizing that. So I need to release that compound path. I need to let go of that guy. That's what happens from not keeping a, a tidy mat. There we go, okay. So I apologize. That would have been a lot easier for you had I not, wasn't paying attention. Okay, so there you go. So that's just a quick run through of how to do a border on something, how to use your knife tool, um, how to use the monogram font, um, how to slice for stenciling, and um, just a fun play or trick on how to um, kind of use that cool circle um, monogram arrow so I hope this helps you guys if you have specific things that you are just wondering there's got to be an easier way to do it please don't hesitate to comment in the um, video comments below or um, if you're on the silhouette um, cameo page don't hesitate to shoot me a message and let me know if there's something that you would like me to show you how to do I'm happy to help and as always I don't claim to know everything there is with this software but um, I definitely will give it a go and try and figure it out for you. So thanks so much for watching.